you are interested in the build I used in this video, you can find that in the end of the video. If not, you can always find it earlier on patreon.com slash. It ain't for real wits, my boys. <laughs> an imposter, imposter. Mm -hmm. Yep, not yep. real wits. Not real wits. Yep. Get the imposter, yep. imposter. Fuck, I need discipline. Is there any mob here? Yeah, I will show them that. There he is. I'm fucked you up, dude. This is American. Very good language. Very good, very good. Oh, you're in the group, eh? Oh, you're in the group, eh? Don't kill me. <laughs> Died. Fucking mob bash me. They finally match you! <laughs> Kill him! Kill him, Isu. When I kill something special, I kill something good or aggressive. Okay, if they get annoying, I just swap with the field. Two one shots. Three hundred K. On the floor. One shot. Two fifty three. Cash lift. Three million crits. Oh shit. No. Elf on kill, baby! Elf on kill! Didn't even prick my... Proc my recovery. So let's check my classified that I built. So I'm currently using 5 piece. Because I think the 6 piece is too situational. And I mean, it's just... For what I'm gonna do with this build, I just don't think it it's not fitting. And yeah, it's as I said, it's too situational. It's it's definitely needs some rework in my opinion. So let's check what that I does. So initial build stability 40%, 20 critical hit damage for marksman rifle, which is really crazy bonus for that I. Yeah, so they changed the four piece, so you have to be in cover to get the hundred percent critical hit chance, otherwise you will get fifty percent. Still, I think that I is too strong with 100% crit chance. I don't think any set in the game should have 100% crit chance, and having it on a on a sniper is even worse in my opinion. Snipers should be about headshots, but I mean, I said it multiple times. But yeah, that's my opinion. Five piece is really good as well because you get 20% more critical hit damage, which is crazy. It's 40% critical hit damage for a sniper, and if you play that, that that's 40% damage. So really really good so the current build i have here is more focused around pve i have tried this in pvp as well so i will i will talk about how you could set it up for pvp as well so every piece here is going to be focused around firearms you can go some electronics if you want to it depends what you're going to do with it pve i definitely think you can go electronics especially with the outbreak modifier when the modifier is gone however you have to get some firearms back if you want to like be one tapping again so i go hellfare i go health on kill you could go enemy armor damage but for pv i kind of prefer having health and health on kill having health on kill is actually pretty nice when you one tap so many just adds a, a little bit of extra survivability which in most cases are like not needed, but still nice to have. Ammo capacity, rather have experience there. I run firearm skill most. I run firearm skill haste on every mod here. You could go health if you want to like, get some more toughness. If I would do this in PvP, however, I would go health and skill haste or any armor damage depending on what the goal is the thing is the way i'm gonna play this build is actually going for headshots 
so having any armor damage is not really needed for pvp or pv since i will have the extra headshot damage but if you are gonna play this zooming in and using the four piece dead eye then you maybe need the extra enemy armor damage but i'm gonna go more into that later we have a dead eye mask firearms here as well and health on kill here damage to elite since it's this is focused around pve health on killer on the mask and damage to elite since we're focused on pve here actually if i would play pvp i would probably go burn resistance here and skill power or enemy armor damage thing is if you want a bit more survivability go skill power you want a bit more damage go enemy armor damage and yeah <coughs> <coughs> the dead eye we have the knee pad there with firearms i go crit damage since we have 100 percent crit chance that's actually nine percent more damage if you feel like you want to get a bit more toughness you can go health here like health is never wrong here like yeah it's more of a, a choice it's more up to you how you want to build it I still think that I, in general, it's more about damage, not like having a, a lot of toughness, since you're gonna be in range anyway, so you just have to play with Sa. 16% damage to lead since it's PV build, disrupt disoriented. I would like to have for PvP disrupt, burn resistance, and shock resistance, I guess. But you don't have to care too much about the miner. You're gonna be far far away anyway, so you shouldn't get naded or anything similar. I go pulse critical hit damage just for the damage. I have firearms health mod here. I wanna have skill aced instead. I guess I didn't have one. If you play PvP, you could go first aid self heal here, but I still think I will go pulse critical hit damage. There's so many people that don't run conceal. But yeah, you could run self heal. And talking about gear mods, actually, if you want to focus 100% on PvE, you should try to get purple gear mods with firearms and damage to elite. But there's not any purple mods available at the moment with damage to elite. Except there is one, actually, but the, it got stam, so I don't really count that one, because you don't want to go stam. We have the backpack, critical hit damage again, and firearms roll. Same here, you could go health, but it's dead I build, it's sniping build. We're gonna go for the damage instead of going in some extra toughness, since it's raw damage actually with dead eye. Bleed resistance, rather go burn, but yeah, that's what I have on that one. Same pulse critical hit damage here. We have the, the glove. Critical hit damage, it's a must. Marksman rifle damage as well. I would go enemy armor damage if you want to go 100% about damage for PvP or PvE as well. But I choose to go health on killer, so I actually got 15% health on kill in total, which is a nice addition to have when you kill NPCs so fast. For PvP, I would probably go critical hit damage, marksman rifle damage, enemy armor damage, or critical hit damage, marksman rifle damage, and skill haste. I would probably choose the skill haste instead because I think the damage is more than enough. Still, I haven't tested tested that enough. I've been playing Dead Eye in PvP, but I've been going for headshots without using the four piece. So yeah, we will see more when I try actually going for body shots with the four piece. How the damage is. I still have like a, quite a few classified, so I can change my build up quite a bit. Using a nimble holster for PV, always nice to get that extra survivability. Nothing special here, we got skill haste and pulse critical hit damage. If I would play this in PvP, I would most likely play reckless or maybe vigorous. It, it all depends. If I go for headshots with discipline, I don't need reckless and I don't need this high firearms. Then again, Discipline is really hard in PvP, it's definitely the, like, the hardest build to pull off in my opinion. You need to first hit the headshot and you're not allowed to miss. It's just a really frustrating build to be honest. Like when you pull it off it's so satisfying, but it's really hard to like be really consistent with it and like dominate. Especially if you compare it to the 4 pieces, it's just silly. 
which are most likely reckless or vigorous for PvP. Could even go... I mean, otherwise you could go specialized, but I don't feel like you need need that skill power with this build. So looking at the, the guns, I'm using Carbon as a main. Deadly Prepared Disciplined. So here's where my take on Deadly is a bit different. So, so why would I use Discipline on a... On a dead eye where I already have 100% crit, right? But here's when the four piece comes comes in, right? The when zoomed, marksman rifle lose headshot bonus but gain 50 critical hit chance when out of cover and 100% critical strike chance when in cover. So basically, when you're zoomed, you're gonna lose the headshot bonus. But if you don't zoom it, I mean, when you don't zoom it, aka scope it, you will still have the headshot damage, right? So what I do is, I use Discipline instead, I kill, especially in PvE, this is really good, I kill a one-shot NPC, I get the Discipline buff, and I get the Headshot buff from the Outbreak. So the next shot is gonna be 100% a crit, if, as long as I hit it, and I'm gonna get the Headshot damage, I'm just gonna melt NPCs after NPC. Same thing in PvP, you just kill NPC, and you get the Discipline, and it's 100% crit next time. Or you just kill a, a player on the ground and you get the buff as well. It's pretty hard in PvP to pull off, but in PvE it's pretty easy. And it makes the sniping actually fun because it's about headshots, it's about precise aiming. And the reason like why I use that is because, yeah, as I said before, you get 40% critical hit damage. It's classified, so it's higher stats. Like, It's just the best for sniping. Still, Skull Gloves headshotting is... It's still good and you still get a lot of utility. But you're not gonna have as high firearms. And I mean, you can never beat the discipline damage. But discipline is way harder to play though compared to skull gloves. So yeah, the talents here was deadly prepared disciplined. I modded with critical hit damage on the extended mag. And... Critical hit damage, trifecta on the muscle. Usually what you wanna go here is a critical hit damage scope with headshot damage crit chance. I do prefer scoping in with a 12 zoom, so that's why I use it even though even though I lose the headshot damage, you can actually use the scope in because of the outbreak modifier, but when that's gone, you're not going to be able to do as much damage while zooming in. So yeah, deadly prepared discipline, the guttural hell here would be deadly brutal disciplined. Because prepared is 30 meters away, so I would rather take Brutal. And then I have this Discipline Prepared Determined Sniper. 172, it's actually like SRS, probably don't see that used too often. The reason I use this is just for Determined, to get back my skill and signature. So what would be really insane is to have another Sniper with Determined, Skilled and Cool Headed, right? And that would bring my cooldowns back so quick. At least determined and skilled. Would be nice to have it as a secondary. Just to swap when you don't have your signature skill. But probably if I PvP I would probably have IM4 with determined or something here. But yeah. Let's go through the stats quick here. 10,000 firearms. 146 critical hit damage. 196 headshot damage, 28 damage to elite, 15% health on kill, 19 skill haste, would have higher if I play PvP. And yeah, I guess that's the stats tier. In PvE I usually run recover link, like sure, tactical link is nice if you want to get a big damage number, but... Having recover link will give you some survivability, especially when you can swap to the SRS to get it back faster. Booster shot for the damage. The healing is gonna come from health on kill and nimble, so we use this for the stats mainly. Tactical scanner for the crit critical hit damage and plus the extra damage you get from it. Strike back, critical save, triage and attack advance. Could swap triage to probably on the move. I don't know why I have triage. I don't think it's needed here actually. So I probably swap that to on the move. One is none or something. 
like overall i think this build is at least the way i play it is really really good for pv and it's really fun build as well since i i do use the headshot damage i don't use the four piece but you can just swap but you could just but you could just scope in and go for body shots and it will still do a lot of damage <clears throat> hope you guys enjoy this build it's a pretty obvious build but yeah have a nice day and take care let's go should I have more make it god damn it Okay, I'm gonna test first with actually scoping, right? Hello? That's a 2 million grid scoping, dude, what the fuck? It's a 2 million crit scoping, man! And that's no headshot damage. What? How did I not kill? See them one taps, guys. So I can actually scope for some reason. Whatever. But that was too early. I don't have my buffs yet. This is so satisfying. Holy shit, man. Shit, I don't want to be that close. I wonder how much damage I could do with all buffs, dude. That's 2.6 million with like not all the buffs, like not even booster, not even pulse, dude. This is how the headshot damage should be, man. Like, maybe it's a bit too high, but it should be high, man. It should be satisfying sniping. It should be satisfying hitting them headshots, man. It should be satisfying being precise. This is how, how it should be, man. Not this body shot game, man. See how satisfying this is? See how fun this is? We're having fun, man. Just shitting on all the NPCs, man. Just blowing their heads up. Out. They out, man. And I had a big headache. And I was like, yeah, maybe I put on the stream and I just destroy some heads. Maybe it's gone, you know? And it's gone. Gone. Just like that. But this is some fun. Some fun gameplay, man. Some fun PvE. I would li like to have the tournament on the sniper though. Oh shit, he's like he's like a chicken dancer, man. Oh my god, man. Okay, let, let's see here. I'm just gonna tag him once. Woo! 3.3 million, man!
At least Dimitri is back in in PV, right? <laughs> nah, this works for PvP as well. It's pretty hard to pull off though, but I mean I tried it once. I need some decent shots here, even if on an NA server, so. But it's quite a frustrating build to play in PvP. Because the movement is so crazy in this game. And you're not not allowed to miss a single shot, right? Yeah, dead eye discipline. Like sadly that's the best sniper build. Like you wanna go headshot sniping the most damage, yeah. Equip that eye. I used to wish I wish they changed the crit damage on the dead, dead eye set to uh, marksman rifle weapon damage, right? But I mean obviously Crit damage makes sense for for dead eye, but maybe on, if they make another sniper set, it should definitely have marksman rifle weapon damage, right? See, they are so scared, man. They're just sitting there and just pissing, pissing their pants. I can smell it. <laughs> yeah, disgusting, man. Disgusting. Two point seven million, without like any buff. Obviously, the outbreak buff though, but yeah. Uh, instead of doing all nighter, I did all sleepers. So yeah. Sleeping, bro. They sleeping. What's that? How much did it do? Two hundred K. Like it's all about the crit damage. That's worth for a, a backflip. Chill needs one with the tier 3 sub, dude, and the 10 month resub. Appreciate the sub and support and that tier 3, man. Thanks, dude. What up? Pick a boo. Uh, you gotta bait him a bit. Oh, this is so satisfying, man. Sadly, this outbreak modifier is gonna be gone. See you. see the difference though when I scope and when I don't scope right it's when I scope in I'm gonna miss uh, the headshot damage right oh shit dude
Oh shit. Oh, he juked me. Yeah, I missed like 400k if I zoom in. Oh shit. That's the annoying part because I actually like to zoom in, right? But I missed all the hitter damage then. Which you could do two and one. I mean, reckless or not, this one's gonna be a big difference. I will upload a video tomorrow on the build. That's why I'm doing this to get some gameplay. Probably give it a try in PvP as well. But it's so situational and it's really hard to play. Like definitely the hardest build to play in the game. I want him to add a new bolt action sniper though. That focus like 100% on headshots. Like higher headshot damage or something, but lower base damage. It, yeah, Every gear set will yeah, be yeah, classified at some down. point. Like I was saying, I'm gonna need those Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do like my content and want to support financially, you can check out my Patreon. And if that's not enough, you can find me streaming daily on twitch.tv/wids. Have a nice day.